What is up, guys? I have just updated this exploratory data analysis copilot. It uses AI to make these awesome exploratory reports very easily. And I'm going to show you how to do that today and how to get your hands on this exploratory data analysis copilot. It's given me so much time making EDA so much easier. So if you deal with data, if you work with data, if you analyze data, if you explore data, this tool is going to make your life a lot easier. But you need to learn how to run it and i'm going to share how you can get it get it installed using my ai data science team um, and it comes with this exploratory code bot. so that's what we're going to show you today i'm also going to demonstrate a new feature and that is something i just added to it it's this detail report it's this amazing thing that allows us to uh, use detail just with ver um, asking questions about our data and uh, we can get all sorts of cool stuff like analyze correlations very easily. We can do really cool, like really amazing things that like, honestly, um, you know, is, is pretty powerful. Like if it's got like a chart explorer, it's got some stuff I'll, I'll share with you later today. All right, cool. But first, how do we get this thing running? So this is the exploratory data analysis copilot. Here's how it works. Um, I have some demo questions, so I'm actually going to restart this and uh, walk through kind of how it it runs and then i'm going to show you kind of we're going to work backwards and i'm going to show you how to set it up and those sorts of things so the the only things that you need right now um you can actually you don't even need a data set i have i provided some demo data uh this is a churn data set um alternatively alternatively if you want to use your own data set you can browse uh, for files and, and load any excel or csv files uh, it'll take in those and then you're going to need an API key, an OpenAI API key. Um, it worked right now. It's set up for OpenAI using. So I'm going to put my API key in here, hit the enter button. We should see API key is valid. And then I'm going to actually use the demo data um, just to make things simple. And so you can kind of like repeat what I do uh, and kind of get the hang of how to, how to work with this thing. So um, let's check it out. Um, I have some sample questions. Uh, it's good I understand what's happening behind the scenes. So this is an AI co-pilot that has access to what's called tools. And I've made now six tools that it has access to. So the first thing you might want to do is ask, you know, hey, what tools do you have access to? So right now I'm, I'm asking the question, what tools do you have access to? Turn those in a table. And these are the tools that they have. And I'm going to focus on the detail report. Uh, we'll also generate a sweet viz report. That's an, that's an awesome one. And actually, like all of these are really powerful. You know, full, full disclosure, I've added all of these because these are the common things that I always do with data when I'm analyzing data, especially for the first time if I'm not familiar with the data set. So let's check out the detail report because I have just added this one. I think it's really cool. It creates this interactive data exploration report using this library called detail. Now you do have to have detail installed if you don't have detail installed. And I'll talk about like the whole setup process. It's actually fairly straightforward. So let's do this. We're going to say run, generate a detail report for the data set. So that's the question I'm going to ask. That's going to exercise this new tool. So here you can see real fast, it's already created this report. Now we can either do full screen or I can actually, if I click this button here, we can open it up in a new tab. And that's sometimes easier because this detail report, this, this, you know, it takes up a lot of space and you want to be able to kind of drill into things. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to dive into all of these. It has so many features, but like this, like detail is awesome. If you've never used this library before, very good for exploratory analysis. A couple of quick ones for any numeric uh, variables, you can get correlations very quickly. Close out of those. If you, whoops, if you hit the down arrow here, and if you go to like missing analysis, it does a missing analysis. I don't have much missing data in here. You can see it's all pretty much full for all of the columns. And it's all, so that's not super interesting for this particular data set. Some cool stuff though that you can do I like doing, if you like to do charts, this is a really cool library that allows you to explore data by selecting columns. So if I want to do, say, if I want to see like the relationship, I might want to do like a scatter plot between, we'll say, the monthly charges and what else do we want? Maybe their tenure or something like that, like how long they've been. So if I type in tenure, there we go. And you can see kind of, the, the breakdown there, actually, let's do this. We'll do X, we'll do total charges. So this is the total amount that they've spent with us by tenure. 
Okay, so that might be more interesting. And here we can see kind of what's going on. You can then group it. So if I do a group and if I do say you know, senior citizen, it looks like a lot more senior citizens are kind of in, in this spend profile. They're spending a lot more money, especially, and they're spending a lot faster than some of this, you know, people in this kind of group here. Okay, so, so very interesting stuff. You can like do that for exploratory data analysis. So that's great, you know, just real, it makes it super easy. All I had to do was ask it to generate a detail report. Then another type of report we might wanna run is a suite biz report. So if you don't know how any of these tools work, I'm gonna ask it now how to use the suite biz report tool. How does the suite biz tool work? Okay, and the AI is knowledgeable on that particular, it'll describe um, how Excel to um, to use it. So the SweetViz tool is designed to facilitate exploratory analysis. You get a data input, a target variable, um, and this is important because like the de detail report doesn't do any analysis with target variables. But with SweetViz, what I love about SweetViz is it's designed for analyzing relationships. So you know you can go through this, but we'll say okay, let's generate a sweet viz report and one of the things we might want to do in this data set if i scroll over here i have this churn column yeses and nos and churn is like when a comp when a customer leaves the company it's really um it, it's costly for a company to because they have to acquire new customers to replace those customers so we're going to use churn as the target variable and now it's going to run that report for us and it's going to um, specifically call out that churn feature as a target variable. So let's let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like it's put it together. The SweetViz uh, report has been generated using churn as a target variable. It's saved in a temporary directory, but we can access it right here. So I'm gonna use this full screen button and that's gonna explode it. And what this allows me to do, so I see churn here. We've got a bunch of no's, we've got some yeses. We can do associations, see the relationships here between churn and some of the other variables. And the cool thing is, is that like, for variables like gender, which is male and female, it actually computes like the, the proportions. So it seems it, there doesn't seem to be like a, a, a super, you know, pronounced trend between male and female, which are, you know, 26% in male, 27% for female. So it's roughly the same. But if we go down to senior citizen, we can see some relationships to churn now. And this is why sweet Viz is really cool. So like detail you might use for analyzing the data for like outliers and, you know, initial and like seeing like things you need to clean up in the data set. Whereas the sweet Viz report is great for analyzing those associations or the relationships. So that's why I really love this tool. And I want to show you how to, let me escape out of this. You can exit full screen right here and that'll allow you to get back to the app. Uh, there's a bunch more stuff that you can do. There's several more tools. We did not cover any of these, but I encourage you to explore some of those. Now what I want to share is how to get set up. So the first thing that you need to understand is that this is all of made available for free. I built all this stuff myself. I do that because I want to share with you this application, not only the application, but all the agents and the AI that I'm building. It's all part of this GitHub repo. It's free and you can go to it right now. I'll put the link in the chat. So this, it's the link is right here and I'll put the link in the, in the notes. But all you do is you go here. Let me refresh it. This is what's called the AI data science team. It's an actual Python package that you can install and put on your computer. And um, what, but what you want to do, if you want to use the apps, what you're going to want to do is something a little bit different. So normally you do like pip install AI data science team, and that'll install the agents and everything that I've pre-built for you. But what we want to do in this case is we actually want to use these apps. And inside of this apps folder, there's several apps that I've built. And one of those being this exploratory data analysis app. So this app is part of this GitHub repo. In order to get access to it, what we want to do is we want to go to this code, and you go down here and you want to do what's called cloning. So you're going to clone it and there's several ways you can clone it. You can just, you know, literally just download the zip file if you want to download it or if you're comfortable using the, if you're comfortable using GitHub. So you can just do clone using this HTTPS or SSH or, or you know, whatever. But you're going to clone it. And what that'll do is it'll actually put it on your computer. So you'll have, you know, something like this where if you open it up, you'll have like this big directory and it'll have, it'll have the apps folder in here. 
okay once you have access to that apps folder what we're going to do you can see here if you open a terminal so you can do terminal new terminal and that'll op open it up in your ai data science team repository or, or folder and we're going to navigate to this exploratory copilot app and this app.py file so there's actually um, some requirements that you'll want to install um, i actually need to add bill no, make sure i get that one um, but like these are some of the libraries that it has access to suite viz detail pytime tk we need we need to install this requirements there are some instructions here in the readme you clone the repository you install the requirements and then you're going to run the app.py file so once you've installed all the software you're going to do streamlet run and then you're going to just navigate i'm just going to type in apps and then hit tab exploratory ex exploratory hit tab and then I'm going to do app.py, hit tab, and then you just hit enter. It's going to run it. Okay. So here, this is a, a, a different session. This one's actually still running. We can see the local host 8501. This one's running on 8502. And you can see it fires right up. And that's how you get access to it. Now, if you can do me a huge favor, when you go to my GitHub repo and you go to clone, do, do me a huge favor. Just star the repo. Starring it helps you find things faster. It also helps me because it helps get the word out about this fantastic library. You can see down here, we've been doing a really good job getting GitHub stars. I'm not sure why that GitHub star is, is not propagating, but if you go to the star, star history for our repo, yeah, I'm not sure why it's not popping up, but if you just type in AI dash data science team, We've been doing a really good job. Oh, it's it, it's no, it's not worth it. <laughs> but anyways, just give it a star if if you're so inclined. All right, so that is how you get this up and running. I'm looking forward to if you have any questions or if you need any additional enhancements added to my exploratory data analysis copilot. I would love to hear that. You know, you can if you go to the AI data science team, go to my AI data science team. And if you go, they can create an issue if you want something new, or you can make a pull request if you are a developer and want to make some changes to something. Happy to analyze or review any of those. And again, most importantly, give it a GitHub star. It takes two seconds. It really helps me out. Helps you out as well. And yeah, there you go. So that's what I have for you today. Let me know how it goes. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.